Well, as you know, I was just appointed the chair of the Recreation Committee, and I've got a lot of questions about the Open Meetings Law. Uh, you as a clerk would know a lot about it, right? Maybe you could give me some pointers. I'd be glad to help you out. Great. Now, is it true that notice is my responsibility as chair? Yes. As the presiding officer of the committee, you're responsible that the proper notice is given. But as a clerk, I'll work with you. If you give me the agenda, I can draft a notice for you to check over, and I'll take care of the rest. Great. Well, uh, let's start at the beginning. When is a notice required? Each meeting of a local government body must be preceded by a public notice. It's okay to publicize the body will meet, say, the second Tuesday of every month, but a separate notice must be given before each meeting. No, I, I see. When must the notice be given? Under the Open Meetings Law, the notice must be given at least 24 hours before the meeting. The law says the date the notice is given must be reasonably proximate. We usually try to get it out four to five days, maybe a week before the meeting. Also, I should mention that for good cause, notice may be given two hours before a meeting. This, of course, is rarely done. Are there any other requirements on the timing of the notice? Yes. Sometimes a particular law requires advance notice. For example, when a public hearing is required by a statute or ordinance, we have to follow the applicable requirement, which would be longer than the 24-hour minimum requirement for the Open Meetings Law. I see. So it's necessary to follow the Open Meetings Law and any other law that might apply. That's right. Who's the notice given to? The notice is posted in three public places. Also, since we have an official newspaper, we must notify it. Local government units without an official paper must give notice to a news medium likely to publicize the meetings. We also have to give notice to any media, such as uh, TV or radio stations, that have requested notice. I'm just curious, when you send out a notice, do you send it by regular mail? Sometimes it goes up by regular mail. Sometimes I email or fax it. How do you keep track of all that? I keep a log in the committee files. I know when and where the notices were posted, also when, how long, and to whom the notices were sent. That way I have a record if there's ever a question. Uh, sometimes you see legal notices in the newspaper. Do we have to pay to put these notices in there? Not under the Open Meetings Law. We just send the notices out. If a radio or a TV station chooses to hear the information about the meeting, or if a newspaper chooses to print the notice, it's up to them. In some cases, though not under the Open Meetings Law, paid new newspaper publication is required. Uh, okay, I think I see. So far we've covered when the notices go out and who it goes out to. But for me as a chair, probably the most important thing is what's inside the notice. What does the law require? It's pretty straightforward. In general, the notice sets out when the meeting is, where it is, the subject, what will be covered at the meeting. For example, when your committee, we'd give the name of the committee and give the day, the date, time of the meeting, as well as the location, such as the room in the City Hall and City Hall's street address. Sounds like the agenda. That's right. We send out the agenda with all the required information on it, says the notice, so we don't have two documents. Uh, how about the subject matter? How specific does it need to be? The idea is to let people know what's going to be covered at the meeting. For that reason, we don't use agenda items such as new business or old business. Also, we must be careful with uh, items such as committee report. You need to give enough specificity so someone interested in a matter would be able to know what it's on the agenda. It's important to not take up matters that aren't noticed. Uh, okay, I can see that the specificity of topics might be a little tricky for me. I might have to ask your advice on that one. Is that okay? Sure. I can always check with the city attorney if it's unclear. Is there anything else about notices I should know? Yes, a couple things. First, you can have a public comment on an item on the agenda to allow the public to participate. That's optional. If you do, the committee can have limited discussion on the items brought up by the public. But you can't take action on those items unless they're on the agenda. Second, if you're planning on having a closed session, you need to put that on the notice, since closed sessions go against the law's general policy of open access. You go into closed session only when necessary, and you can only do so under one or more of the specific statutory provisions allowing closure. Also, you can't go back into open session after closure unless it's shown on the notice. Hmm. I, I might have some questions on closed sessions. We need to be careful about closed sessions. The Open Meetings Law has requirement notices 
and other special provisions on closed sessions. As with the specificity requirement, we need to check with our attorney. One last question. What if something comes up after we've given notice? A meeting notice can always be amended. I'll just repost it and send out the amended notice, keeping in mind the 24-hour requirement. Also, I note the amended notice in my records. And if something comes up within that 24-hour period? The best thing to do is set the matter for a future meeting. But as I noted earlier, if there is good cause, such as an emergency, you can send out notices up to two hours before. Yeah, this is all great. How'd you learn all of it? There are a lot of sources. The local government associations have information in their handbooks and websites. Uh, the Wisconsin Attorney General has an online booklet of the law. And the UW Extension Local Government Center has a fact sheet that offers WISLINE programs on the law. Well, I'll have to check out those resources, but thank you so much for your help. Good luck.